Leave me alone. Adam. Evelyn. I'm in the office. Just finishing up. Is that your novel? Mm-hmm. Forevermore, an original novel. Is it done? Glad to hear. Seems like you've been working on this thing forever. <laughs> Certainly feels that way. I'm shipping it to the publishers tomorrow. This is the final draft. There shouldn't be any more edits after this, hopefully. Final edit? You've been talking with the publisher? Yes, for a while now. I've reviewed their edits and suggestions. Some I'm taking, but... I fought hard to keep the story how I see it. Let me take it in. I'll drop it by the post office on my way to work. Get some rest. You sure? Yes. Evelyn, this is great. Besides, now that the book's done, maybe we can tend to the house again. Before you pack it up, Read it to me. The whole thing? If you like. Forevermore. Both an auspicious and awful word. The promise of eternity. The word hangs heavy on the soul like tempered chains, like the pitch black of an endless night. Yet forever is just an illusion. A faulty assumption based on our own mortality. Or so she prayed. She prayed for the sun to break over the horizon, to break her tempered chains. Yet, in the dark, waiting, the question remains, will this last forevermore? Look at me. What are you? I'm a human being. Or was once. What are you? Just leave me alone, Evelyn. Evelyn? In life, that was my name. In death. Death, I am so much more. 
I see all of our lives transpire before me. The two of us born again and again, an endless tragedy. The angels cry out, Behold, the man has become as one of us to know good and evil. <laughs> the actor and the playwright of countless tragedies. Like father, like son. Tell me, dearest, what do you know? Adam? I got a call from my publisher today. They haven't received my manuscript. I'm sorry to hear that. They said they've been trying to contact me, but I haven't heard anything from them. Adam, have you heard from them at all? I'm sorry, honey, but I haven't. They're lying to me. They're throwing away their letters. Are you gonna say anything? I don't have to explain myself. Oh, yes, you do! They needed that manuscript. They want to publish my book. Do you have any idea what that means? Evelyn, control yourself. Control myself? Control myself. This is my life's work. This is who I am, and you're throwing it away. Evelyn. Don't touch me. You're always keeping me. You're like some prisoner. I'm never allowed to leave this house. Don't be ridiculous. It's true. I can't go anywhere without you, without you watching me, without you knowing where. You only encourage me to write, so I'll stay here in this damn house. What are we even talking about? We're talking about this book, or us, or your fucking delusions. You want to know what I think? I think you've been spoiled. I think you've grown needy and restless. What else could I give you? What more do you want from me? I want my freedom. Your freedom? You think you're not free here? You're cared for, you're protected, you're loved, you're my wife, and you belong here, out there. Do you want to know what would happen to you? Do you want to know what they'll do to you? They'll tear you apart, and there'll be no one left to blame but yourself. Your place is here. I'm getting my book published. You cannot hide it forever. Hide what? I don't even know what you are. You're just some bad dream. What consequence are you to me? You're breaking, Adam. Soon you'll crack wide open and there'll be no one left to blame. I can blame you. Not your father, or your grandfather, or any before you. pushed me too far. Ignorance only goes so far. When you know what you are, and you know what you did, your excuses just seem pathetic.
Adam. Evelyn. You shouldn't be here. Evelyn. You need to leave Ev right now. Evelyn, please. You need to go. Evelyn, I'm sorry. I just want you back. We can never go back, Adam. Not like this. Just come back with me tonight. You have to leave right now. I am your husband, and you're coming back with me. You are nothing to me anymore! I am everything! <laughs> Why didn't you just come back with me? You have taken everything from me. I loved you. Promise and no reward. I asked only to stand by your side and you cast me to the ground. I supported us. I protected you when you left me. You left me rotting in the earth. Left for the world to walk over until nothing remains of my humanity. Can you see us, Adam? Standing together beneath a great tree, full of light. The earth rejoices and the gate is open. No. No, what are you doing? You're breaking me! Where's the sun gone? I, I, I can't breathe! Adam! Adam, please! Look at what you have made me. No words or paint can hide this face. You left me rotting in the earth. What right have you to stand above me? Why must I lie beneath you?
que si sí. 